So good evening and welcome to this uh, regular public meeting of the 26th of June, 2017. Before we go further, as a welcoming word, dear colleagues, may we have the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can change, and the wisdom to know the difference. So once again, good evening and welcome. We have tonight a few presentations. I think I'm going to move forward. First presentation. It's a very simple. For our city manager, Monsieur Marc Melançon, congratulations for 20 years of uh, work with the city of uh, Dieppe. Congratulations to you. Communication Services is uh, requesting a picture. Thank you. <coughs> 20 years, that goes by fast. All right. I would also like now to wish a warm welcome to Philip Myers, who is among us tonight. Philip is a resident of Dieppe who played hockey in the minor Hockey League of uh, Memram Cook Dieppe, after having been part of uh, AAA midgets of the Flyers of uh, Moncton, he was drafted by the Junior Hockey League in Quebec. I think he played four years at uh, Rouen Noranda with the Huskies. Philippe has distinguished himself by many accomplishments in sports. He was part twice for the uh, Super Series of uh, the they played against a, a Russian team. He was also part of the finalist uh, team for the Memorial Cup in 2016, also gold medalist with uh, Hockey Canada in 2017 in the uh, World Championships in the U19 Junior. Philippe is an example of perseverance because though he wasn't drafted by a National Hockey League in 2015, at the uh, junior level, he never got discouraged. He continued to work hard in order to uh, accomplish what he wanted to do, his passion, and his efforts paid off because he signed a couple of months later a contract in the organizations of the Philadelphia Flyers. So in my name and on behalf of Municipal Council and all the residents of Dieppe, I would like to express a recognition for all his accomplishments. He's identifying himself as a person from Dieppe who grew up here, and it's something that we really appreciate. So I just want to offer you a certificate of recognition that we are going to give you to tell you to what extent we are proud of uh, this uh, beautiful career, and we thank you once again to make sure that... Uh, Dieppe radiates everywhere and values come often from mom and dad so I want to congratulate both of you for that uh, and we wish you much success in your carry, career which is just starting. Next time we see you we want you to bring back the heart trophy with you. Last time I was able to give a medal, it was the gold medal to uh, Mr. Montgomery at the, uh, in Ottawa.
Thank you very much for having spent that time with us. It's much appreciated. And have a good evening. And we continue to follow your career. Thank you. Bye-bye. So call to order. Confirmation of the quorum. It's done. Conflicts of interests. Are there any? Seems not. So without further ado, adoption of the agenda moved by Councillor Comey and seconded by Councillor Leblanc. On the question? No questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Contrary minded nay. Carried. Item 7, presentations, inquiries, and petitions. 7.1, inquiries by council members. Kodiak RCMP, they are not with us due to summer holidays and other engagements. If there are any complaints, I invite you to contact our city manager, Mr. Melanson, to express those complaints, and we will pass them along with to the RCMP. So, any complaints tonight for the RCMP? We start with Mr. Cormier. Thank you, Mr. May. Just to mention speed once again. At every meeting, citizens talk about speeding on our streets. Thank you, Mr. Thibodeau. I mean, it's not a complaint, but uh, I would like the RCMP to have an awareness campaign for cyclists because they do not always respect uh, the rules of the road and the uh, signage. So. I think it's a message that we should pass along to the RCM, RCMP so that they can have a, an awareness campaign for cyclists. Thank you, Mr. Thibodeau. It will be done. Now, to questions from the public. Any questions for municipal council? Please come to the mic. Thank you. My name is Alice Casey, and I live on the Desirable Street Desirable Street, and uh, we live across the street from the daycare, the new daycare, and we have a, a parking problem because uh, staff park on the street, and uh, parents, when they pick up their children, and it basically uh, blocks our entrances, uh, and it's also very busy on that street, and they have nowhere to uh, put their cars. So I was just uh, wondering if uh, there's going to be a solution to that. So is anybody aware of this? Uh, Mr. Girard, do you have anything on the topic? Mr. Mayor, in terms of uh, parking space, the daycare will have or should have enough uh, parking spots on the site. Uh, obviously, if there are people who decide to park on the street. That would be something that we have to look into if uh, there were a problem. And we would have to find a permanent solution. Did you complain to anybody uh, outside from here tonight? No, not at all. Okay, then we will uh, look into it. We will study the situation. We have uh, officers uh, for... Uh, bylaws. We'll ask them to uh, have a look, uh, to check it out, to talk with you. So maybe you could uh, leave your phone number with uh, Madame Duguay or uh, Monsieur Girard, and we will make sure to follow up on this. And we'll talk about it again. Also, there's a fire hydrant that's just at the entrance of the daycare and uh, parks are parked all alongside. So they are parking alongside the fire hydrant. Thank you for that. Uh, we will follow up on it. We'll get back to you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Mr. Bidibo. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of council, uh, administration, Paul Bidibo, resident of Dieppe. It's not that much of a question. I know I'm going to be testing your patience, but uh, uh, word of congratulation. Signs that were placed on the streets at the Trabas Étudiant. I noticed that uh, 
more and more they tend to slow down when they go there so uh, it uh, helps to uh, address speed uh, we're warning them that there are pedestrians and cyclists and uh, that uh, they should uh, stop get off their bicycle and cross uh, it's uh, something i notice uh, they're at uh, full speed uh, very often and they cross so sometimes they uh, come down really fast um, and it uh, doesn't give people the time to react. Uh, so on that, uh, it's uh, good work. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So congratulations for these uh, recommendations from our engineering service that seem to be very well appreciated. Now for the adoption of the minutes of the regular council meeting held on June 12th, 2017, moved by Councillor Alain, seconded by Councillor Thibodeau. All those in favor of the adoption of the regular uh, council meeting minutes. See if I'm saying aye, contrary minded nay. The minutes have been adopted as presented. 10.1, expansion Dieppe. Monsieur Melançon. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good evening to all. As the first uh, resolution, you have to consider to set a date for a public hearing for a permanent street, a closure of Babin Street, a portion of it. We're talking about something that is being planned concerning a uh, exit uh, from uh, Industriel uh, from the highway. So we have to uh, close a street that has been identified as a future street. So this is going to be public hearing on the 10th of July, 2017 at the 6 p.m. It's a summer schedule, so 6 p.m. And we're asking for objections and comments from our uh, Planning Advisory Council. So basically it's uh, relating to the proposed uh, bylaw C-22. Somebody for the reading of the resolution? Mr. Cormier. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The, the Municipal Council scheduled a public hearing on July 10th, 2017 at 6 p.m. at the Dieppe City Hall to hear and consider objections and comments relating to the proposed bylaw C-22 entitled a bylaw authorizing the City of Dieppe to permanently close a portion of Babin, which aims to permanently close a portion of Babin Street to all forms of vehicular traffic identified as a parcel A on the attached schedule A. So moved. Um, moved by Councillor Cormier, seconded by Councillor Brido on the question. No question. All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as presented. 10.2, Engineering, Land Purchase, Dieppe Boulevard Extension, Mr. Melanson. So, parcels to uh, accommodate a roundabout. The PID is identified, and it's for a total cost of uh, 136917 So, it's for the land purchase for the project that is uh, ongoing. Thank you for the re reading of the resolution, Mr. Thibodeau. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That the council authorized the purchase of parcels of the land identified under PID 0092473870324 for 2447 and 00924241 at the total cost of 106, 136 $136,917 plus HST for the Dieppe Boulevard extension project from Melanson Road to Belle Forest Street and further authorize the expenditure be defrayed from um, count to number 33357611 general capital budget Dieppe Boulevard extension. So moved, Mr. Mayor. Moved by Councillor Thibodeau. Seconded by Councillor Leblanc on the question. All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Resolution is adopted as presented. 10.2.2, .2, Mr. Melanson. 
You have before you a tender award for Mill and Pave 2017 of three streets, Thomas Gould and Boulevard Dieppe East. We received four submissions, the lowest bidder being McDonald Paving and Construction Limited for the amount of $1,315,420 plus HST. So this is for your approval tonight to authorize the contracts. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Bridot. Mr. Mayor, that Council award the tender for the project entitled 2017 Dieppe Mill and Pave Various Streets to the lowest bidder being McDonald Paving and Construction Limited at the cost of $1,315,420 plus HST and authorize its expenditure be defrayed from account number 3-3-35-58-7601 General Capital Budget Asphalt Management. So moved. Moved by Councillor Brideau. Seconded by Councillor Cormier on the question. Monsieur Leblanc. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just a question. Uh, did we ask McDonald's to see specifically Dieppe Boulevard if it could be done during the night or the evening? Madam Spencer. Councillor, we didn't uh, require in the contract uh, that uh, sometimes the uh, uh, entrepreneur decides to work at night because he doesn't have to manage the uh, traffic, but when we require him to work at night, the uh, cost is uh, higher. So in this case, because it's uh, basically milling and asphalting, uh, it's something that would probably be managed uh, fairly easily. So it's up to him if he wants to do it at night or not. Yes, we're going to have uh, discussions with the contractor to see. It would be a plus. It's always the same thing. You have a half hour in the morning, a half hour at night of heavy traffic as such. Uh, so maybe it's something that can be managed. Um, are there any other questions from members of council? <clears throat> Nothing else. So all those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. 10.2.2 is uh, adopted as presented. 10.2.3, Mr. Melanson. Here we have a recommendation for the purchase of permanent road markings. This year we decided to see suppliers directly. Maybe some savings there. So you have before you a contract of $124,700 plus HST, which is a considerable savings compared to what we have paid in the past. Good initiative, and we will probably do the same thing in the future. And this is for your approval tonight. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Nolan. Mr. Mayor, the Council award the tender for the purchase of permanent road markings for the Acadie Avenue, Amiro Street, construction project to 3M at the estimated cost of $124,700 plus HST, and authorize this expenditure be referred from account 3-3-35-658-7608, general, general capital budget, Acadie Avenue, Amiro Street, reconstruction. So moved. Moved by Councillor Nolan, seconded by Councillor Comey on the question. No question. So all those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as presented. 10.3 Public Works Tender Award, Mr. Melanson. Before you have a resolution for sanitary sewer repairs in the Dover area. So following an RFP, we received five submissions, bids, the recommendation of 683962 New Brunswick Limited at the cost of $152,490 plus HST. So it's a little bit above uh, the budget, but we had the available funds and reserves. So we're asking for a $20,000 transfer to complete the project uh, so that it uh, be finalized within the next couple of weeks for your approval tonight. For the resolution, Mr. Alain. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. The council award the tender for the project entitled Repairs Dover Sanitary Sewer to the lowest bidder being 683962 New Brunswick Limited 
at the cost of $152,490 plus HST and authorize expenditure to be defrayed from account number 4-3-95-58-7717 Water and Sewer Capital Budget Repairs, Dover Sanitary Sewer. The Council further authorize a budget transfer in the amount of $20,000 from account number 4-3-95-58-7714 Warting Water and Sewer Capital Budget, Pumping Station, Industrial Park, to account number 4-3-95-58-7717, Water and Sewer Capital Budget Repairs, Dover Sanitary Sewer. So moved. Moved by Councillor Alain, seconded by Councillor Godet on the question. No question? All those in favor of the resolution signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. The resolution is adopted as presented. 10.3.2 Tender Award Water Meter Reader System. We have a system now, a reading system. We want to add elements to this program to get data at distance and to be able to analyze the water circulation and to identify problem areas more quickly. So you have before you the elements that will give us the opportunity to do that at a cost of $90,000 plus HST by Neptune Technology Group. And uh, we need a transfer amount of $10,000 to be able to purchase these uh, added elements. We would like to have a transfer. So that's for a total of $90,000 uh, for your approval tonight. For the reading of the resolution, Mr. Leblanc. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. That council award the contract for the project entitled Water Meter Reader Reading System to the lowest bidder being Neptune Technology Group Canada Limited at the cost of $90,000 plus HST and authorize that this expenditure be defrayed from account number 4-3-90-58-7715 Water and Sewer Capital Budget Water Meter Reading System. That council authorize a budget transfer in the amount of $10,000 from account number 4-3-90-58-7634, water and sewer capital budget, replacement water pipe, Gove Road, to account number 4-3-90-58-7715, water and sewer capital budget, water meter reading system. So moved tonight, Mr. Mayor. Moved by Councillor Leblanc, seconded by Councillor Cormier on the question. All those in favor of the resolution, signify by saying aye. Contrary minded, nay. Carried as uh, presented. 11. Municipal bylaws, none tonight. Notices of motion. Are there any notices of motion? No notices of motion, motion from members of council. So we go immediately to inquiries and announcements by members of council. And we will be starting tonight with, I believe, I think it is your turn to start. Oh, you're trying to mix me up here. I just want to congratulate uh, all graduates from uh, Mathieu Martin School. A uh, few of us have gone through Mathieu Martin. I want to congratulate all graduates from Mathieu Martin. I'm proud to see a lot of, uh, I'm happy to see a lot of pictures on Facebook, uh, see all our pictures also, but uh, it's a special event in uh, all our schools. So I wish them the best of luck and uh, the best uh, future of many universities. Uh, thank you, Monsieur Alain. Monsieur Thibaudot. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have no questions, no inquiries, no announcements tonight. Thank you. Mr. Nolan. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Two items. Could we have an update on the parking situation as well as access to Dover Park. I've had a couple of requests from uh, residents recently to see what's going to be happening because of the uh, traffic with all uh, our uh, Dieppe residents who are playing young Dieppe residents who are playing soccer. Monsieur Bijou. 
things were going well until you turned your mic off. Sorry. What we've done up to now, there was a request by Soccer Dieppe to set up uh, cones to uh, secure a space where there's the uh, the um, bridge over the uh, creek. It was a heavy-duty challenge because there was uh, traffic in one direction only, so we consulted, we checked with Soccer Dieppe, uh, uh, possible suggestions. There are a lot of uh, young people playing soccer, so that's a good thing. It's encouraging. But uh, the solution that we find, we talked to engineering people, we consulted with uh, people of the Environment Department of New Brunswick, and we put in a request uh, for a permit uh, with the environment, and we're going to be broadening that access over the culvert to make sure that there'll be a space for pedestrians who are going to be moving around the uh, barricade, and we'll have two lanes. What we've done temporarily to try to alleviate the uh, traffic situation is that we took the cones off, we put a yellow line in the center to show that there are two lanes so that they can move about. It's helped tremendously since, I mean, uh, over the last week and a half. Uh, so that means that uh, traffic is much more fluid and we will be proceeding uh, on the work. We've just received the permit last Friday, so we've started already some aspects of uh, preparatory construction to do the work. We figure that it's going to be taking two or three weeks to uh, broaden, widen the street over the culvert. Thank you for that. And uh, I would wish a, a fantastic summer to all our residents. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Brideau. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Two things I want to mention tonight, and Councillor Alain uh, specified it, so I won't uh, repeat it. I just want to mention that uh, yesterday afternoon, we... gave out uh, diplomas to 234 boys and girls uh, at our Mathieu Martin School. It was a beautiful ceremony. And the second point that I wanted to mention, I also want to wish uh, a fantastic summer to all our residents. Uh, a summer, safe summer. We mentioned uh, many things tonight that uh, I mentioned uh, cyclists, uh, safety uh, with uh, cyclists. Uh, we have people who walk. Uh, we have uh, kids who are walk. So question of safety is uh, important. Uh, just make sure that we think about it. So uh, good summer to all. Healthy and safe summer. Thank you, Mr. Boudou. Mr. Cormier. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I join my voice to those of... Uh, Councillor Alain and Councillor Bido in congratulating, congratulating our graduates and I would invite the young ones and the not so young ones to be safe uh, during the summer. And I would also like to wish good luck to the athletes who will be participating in the final of Les Jeux de l'Acadie in Fredericton. Thank you, Mr. Cormier. Monsieur Leblanc. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Other than wishing a fantastic summer to each and every one of you. I have nothing else tonight. Thank you, Mr. Gaudet. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. First of all, I'd like to echo Mr. Billy Vaux's presentation. I am a resident on Vanier Street, and uh, I have the opportunity once in a while to see what's going on in the street, and I can, can affirm that there has been a slowdown in the traffic, uh, some people are almost uh, stopping before they cross that zone. So let's hope that it continues. Uh, and uh, I realize that the speed signs have uh, sprouted today. And I noticed once again that there was a, a motorcycle that was speeding in front of the house. But as soon as he saw the sign... He really slowed down, so let's hope it's going to have a permanent effect in the future. My second point is that I had the opportunity to be present at the Coopérative Jeunesse Service in Dieppe. 
It's a group of uh, young people from 12 years to 17 years who will be in the community. They uh, set up a cooperative and they're going to be offering services, for example, lawn mowing, cleaning up, uh, gardening, painting, and more. So there are approximately six or seven youth who are part of this cooperative. So we would encourage citizens of the municipality to contact them to see if they could uh, help them um, to find uh, jobs around their houses during the summer. They'll be available for the whole summer. To contact them, they can call the 869-6605. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Maybe we could uh, post that uh, phone number on on the uh, website or on the Facebook page or on Twitter, Instagram, and I know I'm forgetting some pages. Uh, I mean, there are some recent ones. But since it's a group of uh, local youth, and I know that it's a program that's sponsored by Expansion Dep, also we want to encourage our youth to develop uh, a entrepreneurial spirit. Thank you, Mr. Gadet. So I also want to wish to everyone a great summer season. It seems that uh, the sun and the heat uh, have arrived, and I hope it's going to continue. But I also want to warn people that the next meeting of Municipal Council were on summer mode, so there'll be just one meeting a month compared to three a month. So our next meeting will be on the 10th of July at uh, 6 p.m. So a good evening to all, and for those that we will not see again, have a good summer.